greetings so i just wanted to come on here real quick i'm not going i feel like this is just going to be a message for somebody that needs to hear it the topic is self-rejection and this is something that i know all too well and a lot of us probably do so my self-rejection i started to recognize how it hindered me because god leads me to certain topics i'm gonna do a whole live discussion and that was the whole plan was to do this live discussion so when i started documenting okay the levels of self-rejection how it hinders us the spirit of it like all of that that's when my own self-rejection started to magnify it started to be very clear to me and very prevalent on how it was hindering me and how i like to shrink myself and hide in the back and be like oh no so i reject myself before i allow other people to reject me i got invited by a friend she invited me out we're like oh we're gonna go it's gonna be fun blah 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 and then i started to reject myself because i'm like okay no there's artists there there's rappers there's singers and all these talented people and i was like shrinking myself not until I got called out by someone there and they were like telling people about my services and my gifts and stuff. And I was like, like kind of like, oh my God, feeling kind of weird. Like, no, like, but at the end of the night, someone approached me and was like, you do readings, blah, blah, blah. And this person, if I was not there, this person said that they had got a reading or they got a message from their, their minister or pastor or whatever. Um, one of their medicine men because they were Navajo and he had got messages from both of them and he said if I didn't get this reading that tonight this wouldn't have been my confirmation so you know some people like things in threes long story short needless to say if my punk ass didn't go if I would have chickened out allowed my self-rejection to get to me this person would have never gotten the confirmation that he needed that night possibly so I'm selling myself short. I'm hiding in the bag. Like, no, oh no, you know, and self-rejection, what it does is it it's a voice, it's a it's a spirit of hindrance, really. It's to block you, it's to cause you to doubt yourself, to question yourself, to lower yourself, and you know, so that you don't ever reach that peak that you're supposed to reach in your life. It's it's a spirit. So I'm gonna talk about that. I'm gonna do a whole a whole live um discussion on that we gonna we gonna gonna talk about it i'm judging myself because i'm like picking myself apart i don't like coming on camera like especially if i have to like show myself i don't like i don't like it and i'll judge myself for how i talk my speech the way my mouth moves i hate like i just be like uh-uh i don't want to come on here but if i'm guided to do something if god instructs me to say or do something i gotta do it and it's not about how we look like god don't care about that maybe humans they they'll pick us you know oh this person this this person but god doesn't care about that so the whole point of me coming on here was to tell somebody not to allow your self-rejection to hinder you because i have stories for days about self-rejection because it's a thing of a false sense of protection to reject yourself before somebody else can reject you and tell you who you're not so you'll tell yourself oh i'm ugly or oh i'm fat but self-rejection is a hindering spirit it's all it is it's a spirit to hinder you from reaching that peak that you're supposed to reach that's all it is so if that spirit can get in your mind or in your way or maybe even work through someone else other people rejecting you but i'm talking about self-rejection if you can reject yourself it will hinder you it will it'll paint this illusion to keep you stuck it'll keep you from reaching your fullest potential that's all it's there to do but i'm going to talk about this on youtube if y'all not following me officially chinoa on youtube we're going to talk about it i'm gonna have a live discussion i'm gonna have an open where you could call in and you can whatever we, we're going to discuss it because before the year is up i'm going to do this live because no more block no more mm -mm, we breaking the glass ceiling we just breaking it we're just we're going to break it